how we did the solution, well, it's very difficult because you have a high center of gravity and a, and a car has a very low center of gravity. So if you let this go around the corner, it will fall over. So the solution to that was another Dutch invention called Carver, the Carver uh, car. And uh, it tilts in the corners. So you, you, you change the center of gravity to the inside of the turn. And that makes it very stable on the road. So that was that solution. The other problem is uh, you have a lot of uh, surface area for an airplane, or you have wings, or you have rotor blades, etc. What do you do with that? Because it has to be very compact to be on the road. And as you see, this is four meters by two meters, exactly what it can be for a three-wheeled car. So they found this solution, use a gyrocopter. Because everybody else who tries uses uh, wings and tries to, to fold the wings which is too much of a surface to do it responsibly. And then your wings are too short when you use them and don't have enough surface area, so your stall speed will be very high. A gyrocopter doesn't have a stall speed. You can go down with zero speed, going down, and still all your controls work. With an airplane, that's impossible. You call it the stall, then you crash. With this, it doesn't matter. You can land like this even. It's, 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 it's like a parachute. Everybody asks the question, yeah, what about flying? Because it's so busy in the air. Well, go outside now and look up. You're at an airport. You won't even see an aircraft probably, maybe one that's landing. I flew a gyrocopter that we use for training in, in Holland. I flew it from Milan, from the factory, to Amsterdam. And I thought, because I had been in the Caribbean for 20 years with my own helicopter company, so I thought, I haven't been here in Europe for 20 years. Let's see how many airplanes I count from Milan to Amsterdam. I saw two airplanes in nine hours flying. It's not busy in the air. And then what everybody forgets, it's only very regulated above a certain height. And that is normally about three, four, five thousand 5,000 feet, depending on country and where you are in the country. Uh, uh, so below that, it is free. Nothing is regulated. We're like the new pretty girl on the block, right? I mean, all the big, bi all the big guys are looking at us like, oh, this is gonna make money. So they're talking to us. And I cannot mention the names here probably, but big companies, even companies here on the show, they are very interested because it's going to make money. Now they know. So they're all flirting with us. And so we'll be sold. And that means probably those companies that I'm mentioning can build thousands a year. So we don't have any knowledge really about production. We can do it in a small scale, but big production, we need a big company, you know, like a big car company or a big aircraft company. First, you have to have a lot of money. I cannot afford this. So there's not going to be that many. For us, it's enough to make a profit, but it's still going to be people with millionaires and multimillionaires who can, I mean, if you're a millionaire, one million, forget it. You know, you have to multi-million to, to, to be able to afford it and to drive it, maintenance it, of course, etc. So it's those people that will fly it and drive it. That will never be thousands and thousands, not in one country, I mean, maybe all over the world, sure.